Our research in Horizon focuses on the digital economy. The digital economy is when technology comes to the point and becomes widespread enough in society that it starts to affect society and how we do business. But we're not just interested in that, we're also interested in then how society pushes back on the technology and shapes the future agenda of that technology. This is research that sometimes seems to be very near to the market, but the point is that it is when the technology comes to market that we start to see society reacting to it. Many of these technologies may have been available in labs for years. Mixed reality gaming was something that was worked on 20 years ago, whereas Pokemon Go as a phenomena, as a social phenomena, happened in the last year or so. Horizon is funded under the Research Council's Digital Economy Programme and it's a fundamental basis of that funding that we perform our research with partner organisations and perform it in the wild with real users. And these partner organisations you know, come in many forms, they can be government departments, charities and businesses. One of the organisations we worked with uh, in the original Horizon Programme was Tate where we looked at putting all their artworks on a map, it's a called Art Maps Project. This is an example where we've worked quite extensively with the cultural sector and the heritage sector to bring digital technologies to their everyday activities. Engaging with the cultural sector is, I think, different to engaging with some other sectors. Typically, we now run a residency scheme within Horizon and we'll have a number of creative practitioners visiting us in a very open engagement to be part of the culture here, to start to work on projects, to absorb what we're doing. Another example of how we're broadening our engagement with the, the cultural sector is through Talent Lab. And this is a collaboration with B3 Media, a company in London. And they specialise in bringing forward black and minority ethnic artists. In our case, that gives us a chance to, if you like, reach out to a new demographic, people that don't traditionally come through our, our lab and our research centre, and engage them. And we do this through a training programme, but also through a, a series of residences in the lab. So one of the challenges is how can we reach out beyond the immediate projects that we're doing with artists and practitioners to allow lots of other companies, and indeed ev you know, everyday folks who are interested, to engage with the technology. So we're doing that by releasing publicly a number of apps that you can use to prototype your own experiences. There's the Wander Anywhere app, for example, that lets you prototype location-based experiences as a web plugin. The Art Codes app lets you prototype your own scannable augmented reality experiences. Horizon is now in its second phase of funding. In our first phase, we were funded to do fundamental research and now we're funded to continue some of that research but also to push much more on the impact agenda, that is getting our technology and our learnings out into society. And this can take the form of tech transfer into businesses or uh, informing regulators and we have a number of impact campaigns underway to deliver these sorts of impacts into society. A lot of the work we do aims to look at novel services that can be provided by organisations to their consumers. We're moving from models of ownership of products or even things like our own personal vehicles to engaging in a service model where perhaps we rent services, we hire services and we work in partnership with industries that provide those services. We've already seen a massive transformation with the advent of Uber. Uber's a really interesting company because it doesn't own any vehicles, it provides a service. That service is designed with a really effective business model it's accessible through our personal smartphones and people have completely changed the way that they travel in response to the provision of that service. In healthcare, we can also engage with this notion of as a service. We increasingly see people like me having personal devices like my Apple Watch. This watch collects data throughout the day about my health states, my exercise, my movement, and I use that information to reflect on the way in which I've been moving and exercising through the day. Now, I could use that information as part of a conversation with my doctor if I was worried about my health state. So these services are transforming the way in which we're thinking about our own personal health. The digital economy is our issues around privacy and trust, and that's a particular area that Horizon has focused on. Without, without uh, building trust in the digital economy, consumers of the future will, you know, will reject it in the same way that we saw the German Information Commission officer rejecting the doll that was recording everything and sending it to a foreign country. These sorts of activities are the things that undermine trust and so we work not only with the technologists but also with the regulators to inform them about how these things should be regulated in the future. 
using personal data to support the provision of services is a real focus of what we're looking at within Horizon. It presents significant ethical and security challenges and our job is to conduct research that understands those ethical and security challenges but ensures that we're able to design technologies and services that take account of those challenges and really enable us to take advantage of the opportunities that these new technologies provide. They will then be able to really enhance the way that we live and work in our everyday lives.